Welcome guys to another episode of Doings Corner. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about a very touchy topic. Huh. I know that some of you would watch this episode and some of you would seriously disagree with our views. While some will be like, oh yeah, I agree with them. But at the end of the day, this is not an episode that is intended to bash anybody or their views or what they've chosen to believe in. I think we all have the right to believe in whatever it is that we want to believe in. I'm sure you're wondering what the topic is. <laughs> the topic for today is religion. So we're trying to talk about if religion is a blessing or a curse, especially, you know, pertaining to the country we live in, Nigeria. Yeah. And of course, seated with me to discuss the topic today is the famous Dana Rega. <laughs> and your outfits are given today. I it's like given, It's giving religion. Is it, ah, it's not giving religion. It's no, given but now. It's giving. It's I like giving. the, I like the of, colors. Coats of many colors. It's giving. I'm trying to come out of the closet. No, it's, 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 not, it's not giving that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so, I mean, Daniel, are you a Christian? Definitely, 100%. How good of a Christian are you? Are you like a serious Christian? I am a Christian. I wouldn't say I'm 100% practicing Christian, but I am a Christian. I don't know about you. Are you a I'm Christian? I'm a Christian, of course. I'm not the um, type of Christian that you see these days. Well, okay, maybe not. Maybe You're not a body Christian. I'm not a body Christian. I'm the Christian that focuses more on who I am. As a person, like how I live my life, am I a good person? What is inside me? That but that's not how it works. Me? Who says that? There are rules to Christianity. Told, like there are there are certain th- there are certain things you can't say you're a Christian when um okay there are, certain th- there are some things God said okay for example dress decently um do this do that we literally have commandments and we have other rules and re- other rules. Do you rules. realize that the commandments were in the Old Testament? Not in the New Testament. Even in the New Testament. The te- Ten Commandments. But I think the so are you saying are you saying are you saying that the Old Testament is no longer valid? I don't think it's valid. Are you it's serious? Not, the Old Testament is that not the old essence of the New Testament? The new the, the essence of the New Testament is. So when the Bible says, um, "Thou shalt not worship any other god before me," or "Thou shalt not um, kill," "Thou shalt not um, steal," they're they no longer valid. I think valid. the only commandment, to be honest, that God has given to us is love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. And if you love your neighbor just like you love yourself. All the other things that were, that were written in the Old Testament, they would apply because you're not going so to. So are you saying? So are you saying as a? So are you saying as a Christian? Are you saying as a Christian that you are 100 percent Christian? Are you saying, oh, if I'm a Christian and um, I take communion, for example, let's say you're a Roman Catholic, mm-hmm. you take communion and it's okay for you to attend village festivals. When I mean village festival, I don't mean maybe festival of like come together. I mean all these diabolical acts. no no absolutely not no that's then what are you saying no that's for people that's different now that's it's for, the same at the end of the day the same way a traditional worshiper is not going to come to the church but they do so come to the church they're, they're not going to come to the church for church but they do come to church most of them you have, see, have you, most you, of have them most of them have in church don't which is come to the church i don't know do you know any witch that goes i don't the, know the, any the, witch. The deliver in church are, are what <laughs> Do you really believe in those things? You don't believe in those things. I don't really. That's believe. I think some of them are, not I, are staged. I think some of them are staged. No, some are staged. Yeah, to most attract, of them to, to, attract be on, attract to be honest, I think miracles and Nigerians love miracles. When there's mm. miracle in your church, people will just gather people will come to the church and pay their tithes and the not. offerings. Speaking Pro- people about have problems. Speaking about church, yeah. right? I feel like there's a lot that happens these days in the church that I don't really understand. And this is not me trying to bash any church or any pastor or anything, yeah. but I, because of the way the country is, Nigeria is not at the best state. You know, people are suffering. And I feel like most of the religious leaders, not most, let me not say most, some of these religious leaders have taken advantage of the Definitely. situation that is Definitely. happening. And they are, you know, extorting yeah. their members. And because, you know, people are just looking for something to believe in. Do you get like they're just like you know what? Maybe if I believe in this thing, then people I have are gullible. Hope. I think the right word I'll use is people are gullible. I think I don't, I I don't say, know I that, say, that they're gullible. It's gullible. They're gullible. gullible. No, it's gullible because you don't have to like um a person will not tell you that oh come out and drop like fifty thousand naira seed mm. for you to get that visa going abroad. I like, people just giddy, 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 you drop that money. You don't even have to like meet a pastor to actually like pray for you, pray for you. I believe that anyways. You can go down on your knees, pray and to pray God. Yourself, you, once you've yeah. paid your tithe, which is mandatory, and I feel like in this issue of tithe of a thing, I don't feel like at this point in time. Do now, you pay tithe? I don't actually pay my tithe directly to the church, not all the time. Sometimes mm-hmm. I just feel like, okay, if I have, like, let's say my tithe is like 10K for this week, for this month, right? Mm-hmm. I feel, oh, someone be like, oh, I'm stranded, da, 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 da. I can't stop taking this money to the church. 
I will just give it to this person as I my really own tithe. Like, you understand? I really that like done. that mindset. But, but people feel like you must bring it to the church and that pastor you're giving to the church will use that money and buy suits and buy shoes and move with security, then we, sell stickers to you and tell you to gob it in front of your house I'm to have you, anointing. That is why I think most Nigerians are gullible. I'm not saying this thing don't work. Yeah. Yes, they work. You can use certain things as mantles or as a point of contact. It works, obviously. But it's not. The, you don't have that mindset of, oh, um, I am trekking, for example. Mm-hmm. I trek. My pastor will pass with not one, not one cow, convoy, convoy, right? Convoy. And police will be there. Wee, 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 wee. Like, if you're a pastor, I don't even see the reasons why you should be moving with that kind of security. If you believe that much in God and the security and, and the fact that God protects you, why do you need bodyguards? Or no, you can use bodyguards because even the Bible, even the Bible said... More, uh, Did Jesus think, Christ have bodyguards? I will say his disciples, not like bodyguards, but his disciples were dead to like... Guard him. Guard him in a way, you understand. But I will not, I'm not saying don't move with security because you know you cannot expect God to do everything for you, you understand. You, if you have the means to secure yourself, you secure yourself, you understand. But I'm not, but the thing is that people are overdoing it. You are moving with security. You are moving with security and you are selling stickers to your members to use and put in front of their car like to protect you. <laughs> you understand? Why not use the same sticker in front of your own car? And there's one thing church, churches do now. I would say churches because I don't want to like, I'm a Christian so I have to focus on my own religion. Mm. That's, there's something pastors do right that kind of gets on my nerves people bring money to the church people bring donations people bring pay type people pay offerings mm-hmm. now we're in a difficult time the emmy local era we know how <laughs> things no definitely we know right. how things are going from bad to worse every single day the money people are paying you or the money people are giving to you you understand why not bring out this money and give back. Give back. God bless get you. Get things from the church. Get things in the name of the church. Even if it's project, just do it. I and actually put it out saw there. a video um, some weeks ago. I think one, but it was a really small church. They were distributing spaghetti, food stuff, stuff Which like that. that. I don't know the name of the church, but it was a small. I saw it on social media, and I just thought that was very nice. Unlike most of these Big churches church. that we yeah. see these days, like it's ridiculous. Like even with the way people are suffering, they're still saying. Um, if God has told me, there was this video I saw, and I think Tunde had not. The man was like, um, if, if God has ministered to you to drop 50,000 right now, stand up right now before I count one to seven. And nobody stood up. Like, everybody sat there, and they were looking at it. And he reduced it. And he now reduced the amount and said, okay, now God is saying 20,000. <laughs> and then some other people started running out, and I'm just like, oh my God, how gullible can Nigerians be? Like, it's... It's so sad. They have 20k, and that's the it's issue. So now, if you meet the same people and tell them that, oh my God, I have a, um, kind of like a pressing need, and I need like 5k, they won't give you that money. But they will give it to the pastor. They'll give it to the pastor, because I believe pastor have one kind of special anointing. I don't even know. I keep saying this thing, that most of the people that you will find in hell, they are in the church right now. That's what I think. Because I feel like you find the most wicked set of people in the church. They're very judgmental. They're very unforgiving. They're very... They just believe that if you're not living your life the way they are living their lives, you're going to hell. And for me, that's the worst mindset to have because God said that we should leave judgment to him, right? That so who are you? Though. That is one thing. But who I, are you but, to judge somebody I, or to think that somebody what is do you not... Think, what do you think is called judgment? Per I think because that, I think, let I think me give you're you an missing, example I think of you're missing because I think... Let me give you no, an example missing, of judgment. I want to give you an example okay. of judgment. I went to this church. I don't want to mention the name of the church, but I went to this church one day and I was dressed... I don't I don't think that that's I was dressed... How, that's what I was No, about. let me explain. No, <laughs> I don't think that I was dressed badly. I was putting on trousers. Just and like what? free trousers and, and a what? top. But then they gave me a wrapper. Top? Normal top. It, the the would... problem was that I wore trousers. But the, the issue, the, does the church, that particular church, do they allow trousers? I don't know. I was a first timer. I don't know. I just followed my friend because she told me to come with her to church. And then they gave me a wrapper to tie. First of all, it wasn't even about the wrapper. It was about the eyes. The way they looked at me like as if I wasn't worthy to be there. I know for a fact that I'm a lot better than many of them that were seated there. But that's not the, the point. The fact that you even look at me. No, and but that's not the see, point. No, you po- don't. You don't no. make. If I was, if I was like, your fr- if I was, like I, a I will have man. to blame your friend because your friend should have told you, "Oh, we don't wear trousers in our church." Do you but understand? But why? What is the who? It's okay, not. Listen, okay, it's my question not, it, is this: listen, it, Would you? Would God say you are not going to heaven because you are putting on trousers? There are what? Do you really think that's something God would say? Like there are some jobs you do. For example, I don't know the jobs, but there are some jobs where 
it's mandatory to like maybe wear skirts or wear um overflow um gowns. In a corporate place, that's that what I'm saying. Church has you can't blame the church. church is you supposed can, to no, be you open cannot, and you accepting cannot. to every type of human being. No, that's the essence. I, no, Jesus Christ is no. even Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is more interested in sinners than he is interested in the. In but the it doesn't mean like you carry your sin. If everybody not, is saved, that's, then that, why that's do we people, have okay, God? Okay, I'm not why saying, do we have some people that go to church? That's some people that go to church. The essence of religion is for people that are not saved. Church is not a fashion house. Why are you telling church is not a fashion house? Nobody's trying to be a fashion. No, the church. that's no, what I you have. should. You should also respect what the church says. If that, if, if your church wants you to wear trousers that they don't care, that's your best. Now that is the, that is the own thing. If a church says cover your head, come here, just marry marker. If you want to go to that church, just marry marker. If you reach your house, if you want to dress a shower gown, that's your personal business. For example, I don't think that you cannot say I'm a Christian because I'm coming to church. Let me dress decent and look presentable. Then on your Instagram page or on your um, maybe Facebook or any other thing, you are dressing like. A body. A body. A Christian body. Mm -hmm. You understand? Your life should be reflected everywhere you go. Whatever you're doing, you should reflect that I'm a Christian. Is it possible for you to be a good Christian and still put on one yard skirt and crop tops? Is it possible? Is to be a good possible? Christian. Yes, to be a good Christian and you're putting on like really short skirts and then bra tops and out and put. Is it possible for a good Christian to wear Is that? it possible for you to be a good Christian and be smoking weed publicly and let everyone know, yes, I smoke weed, but I'm a Christian. I don't think that God is going to say you're not going to heaven because you smoke weed. That's not what I'm asking you. Yes, I think it's okay so to you, smoke so weed. So you, as a you think it's okay to also, also be like, um, um, take cocaine, for example? No, see, let me tell because, you. Because you, because no, you know, you, you know, you didn't weed. answer no, the question. No. You're asking me a question back. I asked you a question. I said, if you are a if Christian, you, if you can are you put a Christian, on short clothes? Answer that if question. If you are a Christian, can you put on If you are a Christian, mm -hmm. you want to put on those kind of things. I'm not saying you should not, you should not, I'm not going to judge you based on the fact that, oh, you're putting on this thing, da 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 da. You understand? But at the same time, you know these things are wrong. Uh, why is it wrong? It's wrong because you're exposing it. Wrong? Back in the day when people didn't know about maybe this is the wrong or right, something is different. Now that you know that as a Christian, you're supposed to present them in a certain kind of way, the same things you have to do. Let's forget about this wokeism of a thing. The same things you have to do, the same th ways you have to act, ways you have to dress, things you have to say. You can't come out because you're a Christian for it. You can't say because you're a Christian now, you can come out and sing trash and be like, oh, I know. People do it all the time. They'll come out, they'll sing about rubbish, for example. They'll mm -hmm. sing whack, put out nonsense, they'll sing smoke weed, twerk all over the videos. And, when they, and they want to give a word. And when they want to give a word, they'll be like, I, I thank God Almighty God for his inspiration. <laughs> yeah, who told you that God Did God tell you to smoke weed in your video? I, no, 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 God is not against smoking weed. I don't think God is against God is against smoking weed. weed. I don't think God, God, God created weed. Weed is natural. It came from the ground. I don't smoke weed. Those things don't get me uh, Wrong. I don't smoke weed, but I don't think that God is against smoking weed. Weed is natural; it's from the ground. He gave it to us for a reason. Which part of Bible? Are you teach? Which, I, are you? I, did, did, maybe, maybe they have a new Bible. I don't know because obviously you are not. You are not. What part are not of the Bible making says sense that in terms of Christian line right now? What part of the right Bible now? says that you shouldn't smoke weed? I need you to tell me the part. Of, if you tell me today the part of the Bible that says do I don't not know, smoke weed. the Bible. Yes. Yeah. I don't know me school the Bible. Okay. I can't say for a fact that there's a part of the Bible that says there's something the Bible did not actually speak on. Mm. Like directly. You can't say I'll pull out this verse and say certain things like this. But these are things that are common sense. What it's it, not common it's sense. Common sense. The, to Bi who? the Bible said the Bible said your body your body rules. is the temple of the Holy okay, Ghost. Okay, you and your body and your body. And you cannot not... be you cannot be taking weed to hide yourself. Who if put you are... the weed? Who brought the weed? Weed is meant for medicine. I think it, it's, it's, a, it's okay, a medicine. So, it's a medicine. Oh, exactly. There are people that smoke. If you weed. want to smoke, you know with, smoke with doctor's smoke. prescription. Okay, so oh, so if you don't smoke with doctor's prescription, then you are sinning. But if you smoke with doctor's prescription, okay, it's, so it's, it's, it's just like the Bible says. Okay, so what it's if I'm like smoking the, outside in public and you know it's prescribed? Maybe I have high blood pressure. There are people that take for high blood pressure. The doctor right? says yes, if you have high blood pressure, just smoke it. There are strains of weed that you take for high blood pressure. Did your doctor tell you? Babe, the, smoke yes, weed. what if the doctor If the doctor you, said smoke weed, it's different. Okay, so then that way you are smoking it for a reason. God. Not just when you wake up in the morning, like you, just, you wake up in the morning, you just take caca and start smoking you weed. You people are creating rules that God we are not creating rules. Create. No, it's not about that. That's the thing. The way God is being portrayed these days, the way religion is being portrayed these days is so sad. You cannot, you cannot, because listen, you, you people you are making rules pin, that God. Let you me cannot give you an your wrong choices. It's not wrong choices. No, it's wrong choices. Let me give you an example of something that happened. Remove religion aside. Remove religion aside. You know that some things. That this if you want to no. say that this thing is bad for your health, eh? You can say this is bad for your health when you overdo it. Nobody has died from. There are people that okay. Why are doctors prescribing weed to people? They prescribe. Do you know that they prescribe certain strains of weed for certain um, um, medical conditions? Yeah, just like so people, just like the, just like people. What? No, just like I people sell medicates. I agree that we shouldn't abuse anything. The abuse of anything becomes a bad thing. 
even religion and that is the problem we're currently abusing religion for you to say that if you smoke outside in public you are you trying you are trying no 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 the that thing is, is that you are trying religion. no you are trying to you, an you are trying to adjust no you are trying to adjust See, biblical standards to fit into your body life that is the issue no at all i don't think that you smoking weed makes you a body no it doesn't just like you think it like, doesn't make obviously you, a body. you will say prim primarital signal doesn't make you a non-christian no in the bible they say we should not fornicate now nah, so that one i can understand but at the end of the day so how can you understand how can, why, how can you that, understand because that one is sex? clearly how, stated in how the bible don't fornicate okay. is, it, is, it, is it is fornication the one, the one you do before sex before marriage is fornication right i don't even know fornication that obviously yeah Adultery okay. is for married people. It's for married people. Uh -huh. So the point I'm making is this. That one is stated in the Bible. Do not fornicate. In I understand that one. I don't know. But it's somewhere in the Bible. If it was not in the Bible, one do you know it's wrong? If it, if it was not in the Bible, there would be no reference. You can't tell me that it's wrong. The only reason I know it's wrong is because it's in the Bible. No so you need the Bible to, to tell you do not smoke weed. Yes. Before you know it's wrong. wrong. Yes. If it is wrong. And I'll tell you, when you were talking about indecent dressing, there was um, a woman in the Bible, I think, that she was being stoned for being a prostitute. I that think. one is different. You're and then Jesus the Christ said, Jesus Christ said, who is without sin be the first to cast a stone? So the point is this, you have, you are in no place, whether you are a pastor, you are a religious leader, There whatsoever. is a different, I think you are, you are, you are, you are missing the point. You are missing the point. You are, you are, you are missing, no, you are missing the point. Oh, you are missing, right you are way. missing between being judgmental and calling a spade a spade. No, you are. Who are you to call no. the spade the spade? For example, if the Bible has not said this is a spade, you are in no position to call it. So a someone spade. can come out and be like, "I am a Christian," but you come on their Instagram life and what they do is twerk, and you say, "No, since you are a Christian, you your what matters is your heart." No, there are certain things that you don't. They're on do the last, they got this. Oh, you're a Christian, of, I like you, but the, you were twerking, so don't worry. Knows, we'll pardon nobody that. Nobody knows how God is going to judge us on the last. Obviously, he's going, to follow, he's going to follow nobody, his own rules. Nobody, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying for and, a fact. And do we? I'm not saying really for a fact. The rules? Those, do we really? Those know the are the rules that even are in let's the Bible. even talk about the Bible. This Bible that we are talking about. I believe in God. I believe in. I don't even know. I don't read the Bible very much. Do you because I don't want Christian. to talk down. I'm a Christian. No, you're a Christian. You are no place you, no, to judge. No, 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 no I'm not judging you. Whether, no, I'm, you are, you are whether not, I'm practicing you are a Christian, religion or not. You are what they call best between, warmers in church. No, I don't even go to church. I haven't been to church. You know what I'm saying? I've been to church in the past, I think, three years, I think. I you proud of but yourself. it doesn't mean that I don't have it right with God. You see the relationship that I have with God? My How do I have a relationship with God? It might even be better than the relationship you have with God at the moment. I'm not against that one, That's the truth. It's very, very possible. But at least I know what is right. I know what is right. No, you are, you are invoking Trust body me. to your Christianity. I, I want to talk about the Bible. So now, this Bible that we're even talking about, do you realize that the first time the Bible was written, it wasn't written in English. It was written in another language, and it has been translated into multiple languages over decades, from century to century. So in the process of translation, mm. I'll be translating, mm. so many things could have been lost in translation. We don't really know what the original Bible said to us, to be honest. What we have now is something that people have written that are just human beings just like us. So human what, that we're inspired. what I feel like we have a conscience within us that really tells us what is right and wrong, and that is what we should focus on. Which I don't is, really which, know which that is why which is why I don't really know that why, which it is, is the why, book that we should focus on which because is why, I don't really I don't even have which that is much why, where, I don't give that which much is credibility why, to which that is book, why when to you be wear, which is why I don't give that which much is why when you dress inappropriately to church no one needs to tell you that babe this your dressing is not fitting for the church when I put on certain types of outfits I know that it's not about it being a church it's about this is not the right outfit for the for this environment if I cannot put on bra top now and go to church and bomb shots but you know some people I will not some people put on this and what they call this that no, one is they can defend it now. It's about hard. No, no, no. That one is wrong, obviously, because you would not put on bra top and bomb shot to your office. Do you understand? Because that's just common sense. But if I'm putting on trousers and it's covered like baggy trousers, and I'm putting on the but you can put on but you can put on bra but you can put on bra and bomb shot to Instagram. Absolutely. And yes. it's not wrong. And it is not wrong. And God is not going to tell me that I'm going to I'm going to hell for that. If that's the case, you know what God said we should. God said we should love ourselves. As love our neighbor as love ourselves. But, Let me tell you what I think we should be talking about when we talk about religion. These days we have so many churches that are that now have universities, right? They now have schools. Those ones Their are church school. members yes, now. cannot even attend those schools. I, I, it's, it makes it's ridiculous no sense. I, 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 I don't and understand it for the church, life of me. Uh, that, that is um, a church pay, uh, project too. 
This is God not, bless not you. So you're project. telling me now that, that one is different. Redeemed church. That I'm does not. That does not mean. That does not mean. That does not mean. Afford to go to this. You cannot that choose is. that one to kind of like overshadow what you, what you're trying to like defend before. But that's one thing. I'm, see, but that's at, a at different the same, thing. Entirely. No, but at the same time, at the same time, I understand where you're coming from because I know so many churches that have um, schools. Um, they have um, hospitals, I think, um, and some other church project. They've, people have come out like, I want to donate. I want to do this. And at the end of the day. At the end of the day, the people the that are, God bless you, yes, the people that like are the dropping and the money. And the issue is that, this is why I say that you're gullible. Because me, myself, I'm not contribute for church project. The way I am like this now. <laughs> Honestly speaking, what I would do, if I want to do anything for church, maybe I'll check, okay, this church does not have good seats. And me, I love, I exactly. love, I'll just buy this and not exactly. give it to church. This I will church not, I will not donate shishi set. to yes, church. I'll buy it. Or if you're looking, if you have I don't too want much money and you're looking for somewhere to spend your money, go to the orphanage home. Thank you. Go to old people. Go, home. Not even, you don't can, give you your can, money to you a can pastor that is already flying. You can look at the street and say there's no street like makes no do it sense. in the name of God. Without even announcing it. And you avoid accidents, people having accidents. You understand? But instead, without even they announcing rather it. give their money to pastors. And at the end of the day, this pastor is coming down of his, from his private jet, from his car, and then you are kneeling. There was this video I saw. Oh my God. I'm like, Jesus Christ. This pastor was coming down from his car, and then the church members. We're kneeling down, and as he was coming, he was pushing all their heads. Pushing, even Jesus Christ did not need all that drama. Even that—that's just dramatic. Why are you doing all of that for? Like, this one, to touch I feel this. like if I even see that, if that's for me, if I go to a church and I see that, that's that's my cue to never go to that church again. Because well, why do you need to? Why like, are you doing I, all I, that I drama? I won't kind of like judge people. I think, like you say, people have problems, right? People have problems. Right. People feel like. Just like that woman, for example, that woman in the Bible who felt like I need to touch Jesus Christ and garment. The hem of his garment. Yeah. So if it works for them, that's fine. You understand? But the thing I will not do is I will not subject myself that low. I don't mean touching the hem of that. There are certain things people do. Mm -hmm. Like I've, I've seen some where pastors walk on people right. and all those things. Yeah. I, like for waiting, which kind of leg you get? I won't do that. You will not even match me. You understand? If you want to pray for me, you can touch my head, which I, I know they even really can make I can't go for fun, which I don't know. I don't want that kind of um, to come and start doing dancing right. in church because I think people nowadays people forget why they are in church they will start videoing and when you leave the <laughs> church from you know honestly when, when you leave the church they'll be like ah you see what's happened to that person we're not to refer to you next time they'll be like you know like a way they're talking about python for church this kind of <laughs> next, so your name now become python guy for example right. I don't want that kind of embarrassment right and you know they'll be like oh see that person for Instagram that's why they deliver there was a time they were using to like throw people you understand so people will deliver to those person because people feel like if they're Deliver you in church, mm -hmm. you'll be witch. Of course. You understand? There's, and there's one other thing pastors also that make me crazy is you come out and you bring enmity between families. Do you know I was just going to talk about that all in the name of prophecy? Thank you. I saw this prophecy. This pastor has told you, you can clearly see. I, I believe that when you're choosing a life partner, of course, you can seek the face of God. But I think that's something that you can do by yourself in your room. Get on your knees and pray to God. And also, with common sense, you know the way this person treats you. No, but you know no, the way no, they no, live. No, this pastor no, can literally... Let me, let me tell you what I'm yeah. trying to explain. A, a girl is trying to choose her husband. She has two options, right? She's looking at this man that maybe beats her all the time, never has a time. He's just anyhow, but he goes to church. And then there's this one that, you know, treats her like a princess, takes care of her, but he's not really a churchgoer. And then she will take it to, to her pastor and the pastor will say, go with this one because he knows God. And that girl will truly, truly gullibly go with that one because I don't, I you don't think say, it makes this is the, you any can't, sense. You can't say gullibly. You can't say I think gullibly. It's gullibly. No, you cannot. Because to choose a life partner, you can pray to God, but the most important thing is to check that person's behavior. God, it's not what your pastor says. It's not what your pastor... People, people it's change. not about how the person... People change. People change. Okay, so you are saying that the pastor has seen the future that this person... I am not saying pastor has seen the future. Sometimes you believe you in can, prophecies? Prophecies. Do you believe in it? I think I pick the ones I think I believe in. I, I won't just say, okay, because the pastor... like Say, say some say them, dollar will rise against <laughs> me. Like, but what they say, I don't know what they're saying. So people have brought out so many prophecies. All the prophecies have been seen since about 2020. Mm -hmm. None of them worked. I and there was one thing I said... How come all these pastors, none of them saw COVID coming? <laughs> no, because, because it's truth. You understand? They should have prayed that these things. COVID is coming so time more. Everybody brace up yourself. Right. It was when the COVID came, when I started seeing some even to cash out, I think. But the thing is that when it comes to prophecies, me myself, there are things you will tell me. I'm like, mm. one thing I'll, I'll be, I'll, um, um, I'll meet a man that we, um, 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 my destiny helper, he will fly me as I can come. Because since 20, <laughs> I think since 2019, I've been waiting for destiny helper. I never see Maybe him. Maybe I come time. next week. Come which next week. When, when I don't suffer me, I'll tell yes, you one but, thing. But I don't, I don't, I think prophecies to these days are more like guesswork. God bless you. 
I was just gonna say I don't pastors are more like I don't believe it's more like prophecies. it's more like betting nowadays. I don't believe in it. Understand? I believe that and you if know, you're short or enter, you work at for the you, end of you, the day. It just depends on your age and where you are in life for them to figure out the prophecy that best suits you. No, that there's no young girl. 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 For all young girls, it's marriage. Don't, no, about, don't get don't abort. <laughs> you will soon get pregnant. Don't do abortion. You will not survive it. There's no young girl. They've not told that thing. I'm not saying you should abort though. I'm not saying you should not abort though, but that is the general prophecy for every young girl. For every, for like young boys. Travel hmm. abroad. For like young boys. No, let me say. That school you are going to, you will meet bad clank. Don't join. The, God said there's this. That's just common sense. Of course, you are going to mix with people. Definitely. So you will meet people. There like, was one day I went to the church, the, right? The there was one day I went to church. Ridiculous. I've said this thing before. I went to church one day. Uh, you know what? Hold up before you say that story. <laughs> we need to go on a quick break and then we'll be back shortly. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, from the short break. We're still on this topic of religion, and I'm still seated with Daniel Rega. So, Daniel, you were saying something for when? Yeah, I was there. saying there was one time I went to an all night crusade, right? And because I couldn't matter, you understand? So, they were like, the separator was boy, um, men sit one side, women sit one side. And the pastor came out, I was trying to make a prophecy. And he said, that There's one young guy, you're in Fana, yeah, you're a courtist, can you call, can you call, can you call? Come out, they will shoot you. Blah, 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 blah. Do you know how many people fit into that demographic? And the worst part was that nobody agreed to come out. <laughs> and I was tall, and I was fair, and I was slim. <laughs> so, I, you know, most of the time, all night is mostly uh, mature people that usually go for instance. So, you just see few youths there. In fact, the people just there looking at my direction. Huh? Now, I was like, I don't understand what's nah, happening. Maybe you know? the you understand? So, I, my mother was at the other side. She was just like stretching neck, stretching neck. I don't, I, I don't have to shout. You I'm not the one, not be me. You understand? Know because I, I felt very embarrassed. You understand? Know so when the person from that came out, you see this kind of judgmental look. Mm. You understand? Know People said doing judgmental. It's, and it's so sad. And was, it was so sad. That's where people should feel their safest in the church. They shouldn't but, feel but judged. But one other thing I've also noticed is that, like I said, like you said, pastors kind of like exploit people. You understand? Know they know what people need, and I'm going to see blame our government because our government are keeps saying that are useless people. If our government Absolutely. was, if our government were doing the right things. People will, we won't have, to why, why, People will not be running to the church. What do I bring in yes. church? Employment, only, marriage. Yeah. Let's remove marriage because this is a general problem everywhere. <laughs> Employment, um, God, I need a um, promotion. Um, God, I need them um, to jack bar. I need visa. These are things Everything that... Everything that the are, government should be fixing thank for you. us. Thank you. You understand? You understand? Right. And I still also kind of like blame pastors. I think most of them are into politics. They're doing this political... They're dabbing into politics mm. now. You cannot tell me that... God is giving you prophecies mm -hmm. that stand for whatever reasons when it comes to politics. And these same people you are trying to pray against, God liberate us from these people, when they come for Thanksgiving, you welcome them. Mm -hmm. Why not walk you, out this part even, of the they church? Or at least tell them, for, thank they you. They will keep seats for them in front. That's another thing that, that they, they keep seats for them the, in front. The, the time I went to church, the church I went to, right? I didn't even know that was like special seats. I didn't know that was it. Me, I saw you see that this is comfortable and it's it good for me. No one wants to suffer. You understand? Know right. So I want to sit down there. The, uh, the, the usher, this is a, please go to the back. I'm like, I don't understand why. Why should I go to the back? The number one thing I say, no, this seat is reserved. So me, that is, me but, that is a member. Is, but you no. know why I can understand that one? Why understand which, 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 because, which okay, I don't because understand. For example, now, if a big celebrity, let's say like which Beyonce, big celebrity? if Beyonce goes to church now and she's seated at the back with like other people, they'll probably not concentrate. They'll probably, eh, Beyonce is sitting. So it's in record. the front. So, so maybe so, that's why they're trying so to So if it's in the front, they'll concentrate. Way. Yes, now. So there was a day that, um, there was this video that we saw, I think it was crossover night. I think the video was in the church and then the cameras um, was like focused on mm. him and then, the old church just started like clapping or shouting. So that can actually cause distraction. That is why I said that, that is why I said, that's why so I can understand. That's why it's that's in the only one you. I can understand the little That's why like bench warmers. Those are bench warmers. Because if I if I'm well, standing next to the video, I came there to pray. I'm not gonna be like, oh, they've come to church. I'll be like, oh, they've come to church. It's a good thing, you understand. But not everybody I, but can. I will not be like, oh, they've come to church. Oh, God, wait first, let me focus on the video. I don't understand why. <laughs> no, but not everybody can. And churches like also, that. and churches, for example, why would they be focusing camera on the video? I don't know. Clout. I don't know. It might just be that the camera was which, just panning. Which, 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 Maybe the which camera span was just span panning. <laughs> span, span, you know? span is when you just, oh, flip. I know they've done it for the show. Then you just focus on the video. You mm. understand? 
This, uh, everybody say I'm a ECL, so I focus on him. Good so PR, it, 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 it's PR, you understand? I was going to talk about this one that I feel like I find particularly painful. I think that a lot of people even worship their pastors or their religious leaders. I don't want to say no, just definitely, pastors definitely. more than they worship God. I'll give you this example. One time, we went to, I don't want to say, because if I say it, everybody will know the place. We got share this gathering that everybody knows. Sha, yeah. This gathering. Sha, they finished the service. I'll be everything now. Yeah. So... They were announcing that, okay, everybody should leave the auditorium because um, the general overseer wanted to address the um, workers, mm. right? And they, were, they had been announcing and announcing and announcing and nobody was answering. Like, people were taking their time. <laughs> and then the next thing, the general overseer came on the podium. And then, <laughs> and then it's like, I am counting one to ten. For you all to leave, if you're not a worker, leave here. If you don't leave here, I will place it. I don't know if he said, I don't want to um, misquote him. I don't know. He said something. I don't know if he, I can't remember because it's a long time ago. Maybe he said he's going to place a curse or something will happen to him. Like, I've never seen that kind of stampede before in my life. Come on, the, as he was doing that countdown, people were running like as if Jesus Christ told them to leave. Like as if, if they don't leave that place. Even my own mother was like, I beg you, leave here, leave here, leave here. Like it, you could see the fear in them. It wasn't about the fact that they wanted to be there to worship God or they wanted to be there to, it was about know, the fact that this person was but, the one that but was But I will not, sometimes, sometimes I will, like in this situation now, I won't say necessarily blame the pastors. That, because, that because was Nigerians, very dangerous. Nigerians, people Nigerians, have stamped, Nigerians people are, have stepped on each other Niger and killed each yes, other. Nigerians, they, 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 they Nigerians are very there. difficult people too. You have to understand that. Fair enough. Fair, if they've, if fair. they've been announcing, please, after church service, leave. We have a meeting. I probably there was no other space, so they have to hold that meeting there. People get like, ushers. Get ushers to usher people even out. Even if they usher Don't people out. Don't tell people to See, run because they, they can run and step on each other out. and injure Listen, themselves. I'm telling you this because this, me, I, I've gone to church before. Nigerian people, they're very difficult. It is that time after church service, they know they want to buy bread <laughs> in church. They want to buy anointing something or whatever they're doing. They want to eat woman that bought corn. Ha! Ah, you get corn inside, close to the church. You know people want to do Some will just stand there and be greeting there. Ah, for how your wife? Because you know, this traffic, you understand? Mm -hmm. So if that man had not taken that drastic action, like, I will place a course, I will do this, people will not have common sense that I have to leave. Right. Maybe, maybe that's that. one thing. Maybe because, because I feel like because they, because they even in bank, let's remove, lives. let's remove and religious. But they were em endangering people's lives because you can't tell multitude of people. This is a very big place where they're. Like a lot and of I believe, people. And I believe, like I said, I cannot so spoil, the, I cannot spoil the pastor because I don't know when they've started announcing. They may have started announcing it probably like a few, few hours or few minutes to the closing time. So you should key in. That's what I said. Most people are bench warmers. Do you believe in, you know this thing that they say where they say um, your first salary um, at, the, in the, at the beginning of the year As what? belongs to you? <laughs> Belongs to who? Belongs to your pastor. He helped me walk the your walk. He's trying to press me down. That, your that, first that talk, honestly. I'm like, the God, only thing, the only person, the only person, th things. those are for them. I will not give my full end salary to pastor. As what now? What did you do for me? How else did you, you pray for me? If you don't pray for me, I can pray for myself. You understand? Right. Why would I carry my full salary? Full. And there, there are actually people that believe this thing. That, that people that carry I'm, their full listen, salary. Listen, salary. I have no issue like, with them. Or if they believe that your pastor is maybe a channel to them to get more salary. Please don't me, ever give your me, first salary. If you to want anybody. to give, no, don't. Unless if you want to give, I don't, me, I don't know, give. I don't, I don't know give. why. I don't know where God will say to you that you should work the entire month. You have families to take care if, of. What you, you have what you should children, do? You have your what wife, you should do? And you are supposed to give the money to the pastor. What you should do? If you, if no you feel sense. like you want to like tell your pastor for whatever reason, thank you, or you want to like then find give, a token. Find something that you can. No, you can yes, give out your full salary, but don't give it to the pastor. You understand? Find something you can buy. Share it if it's to children in your streets. This is my first salary, right. God. This or you can, if you, you don't want to take it to blessing. the church, go and buy chairs in the church. Go and chairs, buy drum fan, sets. Widows, go and buy understand? fan. Look for widows. Look for orphans in the church. Look for. Don't carry your first salary, yeah. pastor. This is not even like a joke. This is seriously. If you want to, the only thing you owe the church, even God said, it's ten percent. God is collecting. God As is not greedy. Ten percent. If I make one million, God will say, I have bring hundred. And I don't even you think understand? that your tithe necessarily has to go to the church. You can go to the orphanage. Yeah, I've said it before that I don't give your, my. It can go to your niece. It can go or to, to your, your neighbor. sibling that is broke or your neighbor that you guys are doing it away safe. You can, genuine, but help people. Just make sure that you're giving it because you know this is what I want to do. Yes, and one other thing people also do that doesn't make any sense is when you give out something, you have you let the whole world know that you are giving out something. <laughs> well, that one, to be honest, that one I can kind of understand. That. Understand, Guinea. Because the thing is this: that's like you're trying to show to people that, well, if you've never thought about doing this, this is something you can't do. There's a different. Or you're trying there's to there's highlight a that there's a that between, there are people that are, are outside between, our comfort zone that are actually suffering. That one is can't there. Do that this. one is there. I if you want to why. run like a real charity organization, or you want to, you want to like do it to inspire people, it's a different thing. Not when you give out, you carry a camera 
I met this girl by the roadside selling pure water. Uh, I just did 400,000 to her now. Okay, uh, 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 give me your account number. Which bank, which bank, which bank? Is it pay or pump pay? You click, but you click, don't click, know. Click, click, click. But you don't know. There will be somebody that watched that video and be like, you know what? I want to help this girl too. Yes. I want but to the issue is that, so but that, issue is that before you met a kite on the road, mm. the people on your street, you did not meet them. <laughs> no, that's the question because I got, there's something people do that makes no sense. You understand? For example, I see most of these celebrities come online and be like, I, I, I want to, I, I, I give Susan so on, one million. I do this on that one, that one. People with the passport every day. You know those ones? Well, sometimes, sometimes your mind might not minister to you to give something to Minister somebody. with your mind. But it can minister. There are, there are people that I see and I don't think they are people. They are people. But I see another person people, and I want to give most them. Of this so part, it just depends most people on that are doing these things, right? Check their family very well. You can't tell me. Like, some people that come at me like, I have, I just bought a new iPhone. Let's say iPhone, maybe the original iPhone. 10, I don't know, you know, I'm not an iPhone user. Mm -hmm. And maybe they upgrade to maybe iPhone 12 or 12 Pro Max or all this Pro family. And they'll be like, oh, I'll come online. I, I, have, I, just, I, I want to give out this iPhone, give away. If you, if you need to say hi, your friends. They don't have, <laughs> some of their friends don't have iPhone, no. Some of their friends are, are, are saving money. Do you know kind of nonsense to get iPhone? Some yeah. of their family member, their mother is using touch lights. Even kind of phones and say, mommy, I don't say you know Sabi do anything, but you, this is how to press hello, hi on phone. You understand? Fair. That's fair. the thing. That is when, and you're coming and be like, I, I give glory to God. Like I keep saying again, people do the most stupid things online these days, right? People, even only fans, content creators these days are giving glory to God. <laughs> you understand? That is the thing. You get pastors who come out, do nonsense. They'll be like, oh, tap into the spirit. There's, there's, some, there's one that they usually do nowadays. They'll come out, they'll start writing the name of your streets. Uh, when you move to, to the left, you will see Po. There's one here, Sarah that is selling Akara by the side. All those things are not necessary. Understand? I, I just feel like people Over do too, I feel like people do that one to just create awareness for people to help other people, to be honest. By saying by saying which of them by saying uh, yeah, but Sarah and the road map on No, no, no. I was talking about like giving and putting camera in like in people's. You're never supposed to give and put camera. I can understand if it's to no, motivate it, another it, person. If to it's help. an NGO, if it's to motivate it's, another no, person to There are times where you have to put out one. camera. For example, if um maybe you met someone that's amputated, right? And you feel like I can give, but I can't give enough. You can say, oh, please, so person yeah. is reaching out. Yeah. If you want to help out. If you want to help. Not when you, you deliberately give out for the sake of you want to get that credit. Because I think most people give out this and be like, oh, you're a nice person. Uh, you're this and that and that and that. And your staff that complain about you. <laughs> Every time on life, you are swearing for somebody. Right. You understand? I, and I like to, another part of present, I think all of us are kind of like, we are all guilty of that. Because me, myself, I, I swear for people. It's, we get offended very easily because sometimes when I go to the market, for example, I'll just maybe I, I price something now. I know this is not that expensive, or maybe driver because those people are one put that we can't help but swear for. I'm sorry, <laughs> then they they swear for us to say is give is fire for fire. You just someone just kind of like maybe bump into you or something before you just know you say, Ah, look at you all day, go punish your animal. You wind up. If you like, if you don't say that, God punish you or they will gonna kill you. But God you will not, really, you God will not, not really punish you. No, 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 talk safe. No, 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 but, no, but that is power. Really but that is power of words. You understand? People, people mm. kind of like underestimate the power of words. You can say, "I gonna kill your mama. I gonna mind you for there." You will think it may be just normal casual talk. You don't know the spirit that was around when you said it. And I go buy that person one word the other. Mm. You understand? Like I remember people were saying, "He choke, he choke, he choke." And I came out and said it was not good. For example, what? now everybody is choke. Everywhere have to, <laughs> he's choking everybody now. You understand? But we all said he choke. Are you I joking? did not That's say he choke. And my life is not yet choking. <laughs> in my own. But, but those are things. When you come and say certain things, you wake up in the morning. You come and say, "Ah, he don't choke. He don't choke." What is choking for you? No, but that one is a slang now. Nah. It's that a slang for a what? Funny slang. Those, those things you say. Those cannot things be comical because they're trying to know now. That that's what they call positive affirmation. You cannot come out and say. You cannot come out and say like some some came out and was saying it don't spoil. It's slang to them. It don't spoil. You cannot come out and say oh, uh, it choke, it choke. And I, okay, you are praying for you are praying for um, you are praying for for the fruit of the womb. You are praying for employment. You submitted. You submitted for you. You are playing for visa application. Mm -hmm. And two days to your to collect the visa. Maybe you come back and say, "It's okay, it's okay." And you're not choking that place <laughs> because those are things. Those are power of words. You understand? Because what pastors are using to get people these days is they will prophesy to you. Mm -hmm. They will declare in your life, and you believe it works for right. you. Then you cannot come out and say because it's not coming from your pastor's mouth. Imagine mm -hmm. if a pastor come out and say, "It's okay for all of you." Can I hear an amen? <laughs> Nobody will say amen. Everybody will say, God forbid, I send it back to send that you get. But people right. these days say they are Christians and you come out and you use your mouth to say rubbish. Sometimes we'll come out and be like, so you come online, people will say, I'm going to kill you. And also, you post outfits. <laughs> Sunday, buddy, you post, you wear your Maria Maka. Do you the next comment is, I will kill you. Let's even talk about like, going to church. Do you think that you have to go to church as a Christian? Do you it's, think so? Yeah. 
You, but you, why? you have to go to church why? to be Christian. But me, my, but me myself, me myself, of Christianity does that no, make no, you a like we Christian? have been from us. Me myself, there's so many things we do wrong. I think there was, a, there was. A, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't want to misquote the Bible. The, it, I think if you have any kind of grievance, um, if you're not at peace with your neighbor, don't come to the altar. There are certain things that that I, people don't people overlook. Mm. Me myself, I go to church when I feel like okay, I I, just, I feel like today I feel like I'm in the spirit to go to church. Sometimes I want to go to church and rain just for a gagada. I'll just take that as a sign for me. Yeah, I don't think quick, it's, quick, I don't I've, think I've it's cost, very mandatory. You know, so, I but think but it's very just... good. But I feel like people kind of like take this church, like watch night day is I'm in my house. Yeah, the last that, watch night that I, cross that crossover that one is not necessary. I don't, I, I don't know because thing. I will not I go to church. Know who I will not go to church to start happy new and check and come back and risk my life. I will not try it. Even the more developed countries that everything is working, their system is working, everything. You see them, they are crossover nights. Most of them are not even in church. In my house. Most uh, of them are not church. Last, 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 I don't think last that God crossover requires us last to go to, you can pray in your house. Last crossover night, my neighbor was like, ah, follow us now. The um, husband has a car. I'm like, ah, no way, if now I'm going, let me, let me know. Make sure just, just like, end that conversation. Mm. So I just came out and crossover, you know, go, go. As I see me like this, eh, I don't carry my net down. Yeah. You understand? And God took a neighbor brought light. I was just watching film, enjoying myself. Mm. As it just marked 12, I just had happy in my house. So happy New Year. I go on my rice to make sure yeah. say, I eat. I want to make sure that my first food of the year was food that I cooked myself. I know I can't eat food that's first food. And, and I'm so happy. Mm. And some people that went to church to shout happy New Year and do this on that and that. They see they, nothing is working that, for them. That. So it's not, it's not about attending church, you get. Mm. Sometimes on Sunday, people will be outside. My neighbors will go to church will come back. Once they come back, whew, Ibo. From church? What, no, when they but come back, they, they have gathered. They egg. have gathered. They've started smoking. The next thing we talking about, Olosho talk, all this mu 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 talk, we don't get head. I don't you know. You understand? But, but it's, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to judge them because sometimes when they talk about those things, I see John and the conversation. It's just the for... The conversation is sweet. It's not, it's not be so Olosho talk sweet, but sometimes you just feel like that you just, you know, conversation, this happened, you correct, you understand. It's just normal. Nobody will be like, no one they talk about this kind of talk once mm. in a while. But the thing is that people these days go to church, like people believe that when you go to church, it absorbs you. All right, and one other thing I don't, sin. one other thing I don't, I don't believe in is confessing your sin to someone else. I don't know why people do it. I won't they judge them for it. it. Yeah, when you like go to the pa- to the pastor, okay, I think, to the, um, the Catholic, Catholic, okay, and yeah. they, me, I feel like you just whatever you want to say. Maybe it works. Say it to like, God no, no, directly. No, no. I won't. I won't kind of like judge them. I won't say it's wrong or it's good because everyone has their own doctrine. You understand? But mm-hmm. personally, me, I feel like if I want to say anything like my deepest darkest secret, God already knows. But I'll just acknowledge it. Like God, look at you. If, if you are even confessing your sins to the pastor, who is the pastor confessing his own sins to? That's the question. That is the superior. He's a human brother. being too. No, no, but so who no, is he no, no, but, no, I'm, like I said, I don't know. I won't say it's wrong. If, I'm if, if it to, works for you, I don't understand. If it's wrong, I don't even no, know that that if, happened. I'm hearing it for the first time. That's why I say I'm not a Christian. <laughs> but, 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 but if it works for you, it's fine. Do, but it, it happens. Yeah, people confess their people. I, I don't know what they like call when you, you sin, you go and tell the pastor that. No, no, like the is. things you feel like you've you've done that week that is not good. So what if your pastor has done that same thing? Like if not, I'm going to not, confess it's, it's not, it, that I've, it's I've, not, I've it, slept to somebody, what if my pastor has also slept to somebody? That's not your business. You've done your part. You've, you've, you've <laughs> prayed. You know, you guys pray together. That. It's a normal thing. I won't say it's a bad thing. Like I said, whatever works for you, fine. Whatever but me, myself, you. I will not go to someone and carry my secret and tell you a person. I won't try it because I don't even know if the pastor even like me. You understand? Maybe right. another time, ah, pastor, I was involved in one robbery. Oh. This robbery that kills yeah, person. The then tomorrow, now nah, maybe me and the pastor have issue. You will now say, didn't you come and confess that you kissed the person? Right. And when I've already believed that God has forgiven my sins, I've made peace with you, whatever happened. You just come and put me. On I class. need. I need to put you it get. out there that it's not. I don't ever want to come across like I'm bashing pastors and bashing religion or whatever because I'm a Christian. Whether or not you choose to believe it, yeah, body Christian, Christian, anyways. But I'm a but Christian, that is and, and I and I and I try to live a good life. Do you get How? But, I do by the way I treat people, by the way I treat very yeah, important. I, 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 I treat people very well. I try my best. I try my best to treat people well. I try my best to make sure that my behavior is yeah, reflecting. I how I don't... Is reflecting the, of what I think God expects me to do. do you yeah, understand? and I, I also want to let people know. But when the Bible says, I think I don't know what Chris said. Like you have to be peaceful, peaceful every time. That sometimes you need to like you know change and follow person like full time. You understand? As a Christian, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Christian is not that if you if you come and insult me now I say oh, God bless you, name my father. No, but God is a patient God, right? Yeah, yeah but God but, 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 but even Christ. And he says but when, but you, when, you slap, when your says. neighbor slaps you. Eh, hey, na, na, na so they do am. Na so they. Eh, my neighbor will slap me. I can say, oh, in the name of the Lord, slap me again. What would Jesus do? Answered if if somebody slapped Jesus right now, what do you think he would do? But he created us in His image. Yes, now. Right, so you're supposed to act. You're supposed to be a reflection. Is it not the same God that told me to go and fight war? 
God told who did God tell to go and fight war? Those, all, all those people that okay, the people that the people that fought war in the Bible, mm. right? Carrying a, in the name of the Lord. You understand? There, there, are so many, well, really there are so many. There are so many. There are so many instances where people have fought war, fought against this, do this and do that. They are doing it. They're probably defending their faith or whatever. You understand? Mm. I wouldn't say God will not tell you that. Oh, if um, something's happening here now, maybe you see some old brukus coming to come and attacking your house. You should not sit down, go down your knees and start praying. If you want to be fine, no. Me, my first instance is to find a way to defend myself. You understand? <laughs> I will say, God, oh yeah, oh, give me inspiration. <laughs> if you see bottle, you throw it. God can give you that. God can give you that. No, that is supposed to. God, God can give you that. God can God, throw bottle listen, somebody. God can tell, God can give you that accuracy. You stone the person where. <laughs> and use testimony for you. You understand? I was not because of someone now bash my car in, in public. Yeah, in traffic. A question I was not because, because I'm a Christian now. While you were talking. I, no, I was not saying I'm a Christian now because you bash my car and I say nothing spoil. Uh, don't worry, I forgive you. Oh, when you pay for that moto. <laughs> There's no, a question that truth. came to mind and it's very sensitive, right? Yeah. Do you think that you can be a homosexual Christian? Can somebody be a homosexual Christian? Can you be a child of God and be gay? I think you can. If you think so, fine. But can but you? like I'm like I you. can you? I think you be can homosexual. be gay and be a child of God. We are not. I don't to, think that we are God not. We are not what, you are not deviating from religion. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not about. It's more about. It's part of being judgmental because they they judge them a lot. Yeah, that's they right. Judge they, judgment, a lot. judgment is for God. But it's why why can't you answer that question? Though? Why should I answer the question? If if I say yes or no, I'm I'm literally judging them. If I say yes, no. If you say yes, no. If I no. If I no. If I say yes. I am judging people that say it's wrong. Mm. No, no, that not. is it. No, 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 that is it. That is it. If I say no, I am judging. I used those to think that you are. were very courageous. I've never seen you dance around. It's not the about. It's not. Like no, it's not. It's not about. You are no, dancing listen. around it. Do it's you a think? Very, no. Do you think that they should be allowed into the church? Do you think that they should be allowed? That is to their be, personal relationship with God. Listen, do you think listen. they should be allowed to be pastors? Because I remember there's this thing that Isabel posted. This um is a reverend father, but he calls himself. Yeah, sorry, she identifies as a woman but she's a um, naturally um, a biological biological man but she identifies as a woman but she's a pastor so she was preaching and then there was this thing that instagram got posted and like, oh why why are you even allowing this person to preach and they're gay and da, 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 da. i don't I, I didn't see the problem with it do you think that you can when be it comes a pastor to, when, it com when it comes to the lgbt movement as a whole mm -hmm. right it's not something you can just sit down here and just pass out opinions like i said Every religion has the rules and the regulation. They have the yes and the do. But you cannot, like you are saying, you, you cannot say, oh, because of... Do you think the Bible is against it? The Bible has so many things about that LGBT movement as a whole. I don't know why you're dancing around. Because you're trying to, you are trying to protect... I just no, want to no, know. No, no, you know so no, much, you seem to no, know so much no, about no. the Bible. You, and you I want are to know if the Bible is to, against it. You are trying to project... Things. You are trying to like I'm not get. A, to no, you are trying to get a reaction for some. For, for some I'm reason. trying to get this because same way. I've asked you questions no, about no. every other thing. I'm asking you this question. No, you. For some no, you are asking some, me. You are yes. asking me. You are asking me. Um, is same sex? That was just asking me. Do you yes. think same sex is, is right or wrong? Then you have to go back. At least do what the Bible says on certain things. That's why, I, because and, I don't know. And I don't so want to judge. The Bible. You understand? Because no, this, this is not us judging. It's judging. No, it's judging. You want to place judgment on it. No, you want to place judgment on it. You don't want to. You. I ask you questions. This is, is not a question. Bible this is not a question. This is not a question. Okay, Daniel, you seem to know the Bible. This is not a question. Is the Bible the Bible homosexuality? If you want, the Bible is against same sex. Is it? Okay, I don't know. That is simple truth. The Bible is against same sex, but I will not sit down here and still judge people based on their life preference or the sexual preference you understand yeah. but we can't say like for example i can't say because you're a christian because you're a christian that um you say you identify as a christian for example you're not dressing appropriately and i say it's your, it's, your, it's your life you understand that is between you and your god i won't say because of um the way you dress i will not start condemning you whatever you have your relationship with god is different from my relationship with god at the end of the day yeah. at the end of the day True. but we still like i keep saying there are still things that the bible say do not do or do mm. So we cannot remove that fact. But at the end of the day, it's God that will still decide is this thing right or right is or wrong. wrong. He is the one that knows how he's going. Like, for example, people have killed people countlessly in the Bible. I think about Paul. I don't know if he's Paul. I don't know if he's Paul or his name. Um, I think he was Saul he was, before he became Paul. And he used to be a murderer. He used to be a murderer. But yeah. God still God worked with him. And he's one of the greatest exactly. people in the Bible. So, so I will not sit down here and judge people by their lifestyle. But we know, like even the Bible said, thou shalt not kill. Right. So at the end of the day, it's God that will decide what are you right worthy now? enough to come to my kingdom? Yeah. You understand? True. I don't True. even that into this LGBT of a thing because it's a very controversial topic and I don't want to be involved. And if you want to be involved, that's fine. That's <laughs> <not> <laughs>
<laughs> you know what? I think we need to wrap up this religion topic. The truth is that we would never know what is wrong or right until the end when we when we we'll, get to God. No, that's we, when no, we we'll know no, no, what listen, is right or wrong. Know, At the end listen, of the day, I no. think people should just do what we sits know, well with their conscience. No. We know what is right and what is wrong. Let's not kind of like confuse the two things. We but know I what just is asked right. You one thing no. and you didn't know. Listen, I said we know what is right and what is wrong. We know what the Bible has stated because I am a Christian. I'm going to go by the Christian, the Bible, Biblical mm -hmm. rules. I know what is right and what is wrong. Sometimes I myself, I kind of like, like I've told you, I, sometimes I swear for people. I do things I like, know, okay, this thing is wrong. Mm. You get. But sometimes I can't just help myself. I have to, if I don't, if I don't call you that all day, mm. once in a while. <laughs> no, no, if, you, you if, no, if, 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 if like, there's always someone who will provoke you, you'll be like, I'm sorry, sorry, if I just like, ah, you'll be a deal. What do you worry your day? So God forgive me, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. So like right. I just sometimes you just like I don't mean it, you understand? So I know things that are wrong, you know what is wrong, you know what is right. right. But you but at the same time, we cannot be too judgmental on certain things. Because Absolutely. at the end of the day, judgment is for God and yeah. God alone. Absolutely. So and the thing is the bottom just... line, the bottom line is live your life and let other people live their life. Exactly. And leave judgment for God. Exactly. But at the same time, do Focus what you know is right. Yeah. While you are living your life, just do what you know. What right. you know and what is approved deep, deep, is deep, right. Deep, what you know deep down, this is right. That this is right. Yeah, That's don't come and sugarcoat it with yeah. some kind of like, it's my spirit, it's my heart, it's my life. Because at the end of the day, your life doesn't belong to you. Your life True. still belongs to God. True. You get. So we need to wrap this up. And what I would just say is this. At the end of the day, we leave judgment to God. It's only God that can judge us. And, you know, whatever you choose to believe in or whatever your faith carries, you can do it. But at the end of the day, it's important for us to apply common sense that God gave to us. There's a reason God gave us brain. There's a reason God gave us willpower to be able to decide and to do things with our brain. Do you understand? You don't always need to refer to one religious leader every time you want to do something in your life. Just think about things properly. And even if you are the worst of the worst sinner, I don't think that God judge, judges you. I don't think that God doesn't love you. I think God loves every single person. And all that matters is the relationship you have with God. Yeah. So I hope you settle with that. And on this note, we need to call it a day. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>